Hi everyone, uh, my name is Chi April and today I'm going to share with you my two books came in for my information technology class. Okay, so let's start with uh, book number one. That, that is uh, Fundamentals of Data Visualization. And in this book, I'm gonna share with you about my skimming about the chapter 10. Visualize it proportions. We often want to know some, I mean, to know how some group entity uh, breaks down into individual pieces that each represents for a proportion of the whole to understand the relation between the piece to the total. So visualization proportion is not always simple, especially when the whole is broken into many different pieces or when we want to see some changes in proportion over time or across conditions. So uh, let's go to the first part of chapter 10, the pie charts. In this picture, you can see the pie chart and the CDU, CSU, SBD, and FDP stand for three different parties in the German parliament from 1961 to 1983. Uh, the same procedure can be performed on a rectangular and the result is a stack bar chart vertically or horizontally as you can see in this picture. We can also take the paws and place them side by side rather than stack them on top of each other and it will be like this. This visualization makes it easier to perform a direct comparison of the three groups. However, in this side-by-side -side bar plot, the relationship of each bar of the total is not very obvious. So in the next slide, you can see some pros and cons of common approaches to visualizing proportion. For example, uh, in this pie chart and stack bar, we can clearly visualize the data as proportion of a whole, while it is not for the side-by-side -side bars. Okay, so let's go to the second part of chapter 10, the side-by-side -side bars. And in here, we can see an example where the pie charts fell. In this picture, uh, we can see the market shares of five companies A, B, C, D, E for the years 2015 and uh, 2016, 2017, visualized as pie charts. And in this, we can see two main problems. The first problem is the coveration of the relative market share within years is impossible. And the second problem is the changes in market share across years are difficult to see. And in here, for this type of data set, side-by-side -side bars are the best choice. The visualization highlights that both companies A and B have increased their market share from during the time while both companies D and E have reduced theirs. And let's go to the third part of chapter 10, stack bars and stack densities. In this picture, you can see this chart describes the proportion of women in a country's national parliament. And in here, to help you see exactly when the majority turn female, a dash horizontal line has been added at 50%. Without this line, 
it would be near impossible to determine whether from 2003-2007 the majority was male or female. To give an example where stack densities may be appropriate, consider the health status of people as a function of age. We can see clearly that overall health declines as people age. And we can also see that despite this trend, over half of the population remain in good or excellent health until very old age. Okay, for the fourth part, visualizing proportions separately as parts of the total. Side-by-side -side parts have the problem that they don't clearly visualize the size of the individual parts relative to the whole. And stack bar have the problem that the different bars cannot be compared easily because they have different phase lines. We can resolve the two issues by making a separate plot for each part and in each plot showing the respective part relative to the whole. The overall age distribution in the data set is shown as the shaded gray areas and the age distributions of each health status are shown in the blue. Yes, and that's the end of chapter 10, book number one. And now we go to the second book, Hands-On Data Visualization. And in this book, I'm gonna share with you the chapter one, Choose Tools to Tell Your Data Story. In chapter one, the first part is draw and drive your data story. The primary reason we are designing visualizations is to improve how we can communicate our data story to other people. So let's begin there. First, at the top of the page, write down your story, your data story. And further down the page, Draw quick pictures of the visualizations that comes to your mind. Just you, your imagination, no artistic skills are required. Finally, share, share your data story with someone else and talk through your preliminary ideas. Okay, the next step. Ask questions when choosing tools. Before testing our new tools, try listing the criteria that guide your decision-making process. What are the most important factors that influence whether or not you add another item to your digi digital toolkit? Uh, in general, we usually choose a tool that is most powerful and easy to learn at the same time, and that we call the sweet spot. And the third part is rate these simple map tools. First, click this link and save the download, and save to download the sample file to the computer. Next. View a poll map with the sample data by following the given tutorials. And finally, rate your experience using its tool with selected criteria like easy to learn, price, customization, data migration, or error friendly. That's it. Thank you very much for your listening.